prostate cancer is on a rise. A lot of men in Delhi are coming with prostate cancer. We practically see almost three to four cases of prostate cancer in an OPD on a weekly basis. Prostate cancer is primarily a disease which is a lifestyle disease, which is because of some hormonal changes in the body. So the treatment also is involving some hormonal manipulation. At the same time, some patients may require radiation and sometimes surgery also. It depends on the risk stratification. All the prostate cancer patients are segregated into some risk categories, which are very low risk, low risk, intermediate risk, high risk, very high risk, and metastatic. Each risk category has a very different form of treatment. If we talk of radiation, radiation is usually employed intermediate risk onwards. Patients who have intermediate risk uh, prostate cancer, high risk prostate cancer, very high risk prostate cancer and metastatic cancer may require radiation. Radiation for prostate cancer is very, very targeted because prostate cancer requires high doses of radiation. So to deliver those high doses of radiation, we have to employ a lot of discipline in that radiation. It is of a military discipline. It requires a lot of protocols. These are primarily bladder protocols, bowel protocols, which are done when radiation is planned for prostate cancer. So what exactly is radiation? Radiation is nothing but these are some high energy x-rays which are delivered to the body in such a way that radiation goes exactly to the tumor bearing area and at the same time we protect the areas around that tumor which are not affected by tumor. And these areas would include the rectum, the bladder, the, uh, uh, the penile bulb because these are the area if they are damaged they can cause late side effects. The technique of radiation which we use for prostate cancer is most of the times image guided radiation therapy we call it IGRT. So we prepare a mask of the body and after preparing that mask we conduct a CT scan and when we do that CT scan we ensure that the urinary bag is distended. It's distended to a particular level. To obtain that we follow a bladder protocol which means that every day patient has to drink a fixed amount of water before radiation so that the urinary bag is same throughout the course of treatment. Additionally, we want that the patient should not be constipated. So some medicines are prescribed so that every day patient passes motion before he goes for radiation. This is called bowel protocol. So by following this, the radiation is done. And usually radiation for prostate cancer lasts five to seven and a half weeks. We try to do radiation in a smaller duration. Usually radiation is delivered five to seven weeks for prostate cancer. We prefer giving five weeks because it is said to be biologically better. When we are doing radiation for five weeks, we are giving higher doses in a shorter duration. We call it hypofractionated radiation. But if the patient's condition does not permit us to perform five weeks of radiation, then we do an extended radiation, which usually lasts for seven and a half weeks. There are some side effects which the patient can appreciate during this course of radiation, which are primarily a sensation of nausea, vomiting, fatigue, listlessness. Uh, there is a tendency of blood counts to fall and additionally some patients can complain of diarrheas or burning in urine during radiation. Some skin changes can also be appreciated. There would be some redness or some dry peeling of the skin in the area we are radiating but that is not uniformly seen in all cases. We usually advise some precautions to be followed during this radiation which include non-spicy diet, plenty of fluids, if there is diarrhea, uh, restrain from milk and uh, also additionally have high roughage diet to promote less constipation. If the blood counts are on the lower side, then we usually avoid raw uncooked food because they have a tendency of more infections. Some skin precautions also have to be taken. We do not allow you to apply soap, cream or oil in the area which has to be radiated. If there is itchiness or burning, we prescribe you some medications to suppress these symptoms. Some patients require brachytherapy for uh, radiation, which is limited to a very small group of patients which have low risk diseases. It is performed in two means. One is permanent brachytherapy, where we introduce some seeds inside the prostate, which remain there lifelong. So these seeds have radiation, they keep on emitting some radiation, which is localized to the prostate itself. Whereas in some patients, we give interstitial brachytherapy, where we put some 
tubes under anesthesia into the prostate, deliver radiation over 2-3 days and then take out those tubes. But these uh, brachytherapy techniques are limited to a very, very small segment of patients. Majority patients would require external radiation. Along with radiation, hormone manipulation is done which is called androgen deprivation therapy which also has its sets of side effects. So the medicines are given such that both the side effects are suppressed. If a person follows all these precautions stringently, most of the patients sail through the treatment and have a remarkable recovery within 4 to 6 weeks of treatment completion. Mm -hmm.